Now the 2024 MLB season is just over 40% done, but so far the San Francisco Giants have presented themselves as a competitive team in the National League wildcard race, but also a team lacking power. The Giants haven't had a 30 home run season by any player since Barry Bonds hit 45 in 2004. So to combat that, the Giants signed Jorge Soler and Matt Chapman over the offseason. But Chapman has only notched eight home runs so far and Soler has only tallied seven. So power has definitely been a concern for a Giants offense that has been bailed out by good pitching in a lot of games. But more recently, one player that has spent a bulk of his career in the minor leagues and wasn't on the opening day roster, Elliot Ramos, has brought tons of life to the Giants offense. Now at the time of recording this, Elliot Ramos has hit four home runs in his last six games, three of which the Giants won, and he has been a key contributor to those wins. In fact, in Saturday's game against the Rangers, a 3-1 win for San Francisco, Ramos drove in all three of the Giants' runs, raising his OPS to a whopping 973, with 33 hits on the year in just 101 at-bats. Now, before I talk about what makes Ramos so special, let's not forget he's been in the San Francisco Giants organization for quite a long time. He was the 19th overall pick back in 2017, so it's hard to really still consider him a prospect, although he's only 24 years old from Puerto Rico. But most importantly, he's filled an outfield role for the Giants that has suffered injuries this year, most importantly to Jung Hu Lee, and others. Now, Elliot Ramos officially debuted for San Francisco in 2022, had very limited action, however, just 22 plate appearances in nine games and only hit a batting average of 100. And in 2023, he was called up once again, also had limited playing time, 60 plate appearances in 25 games, but hit under the Mendoza line once again, 179 batting average with a 537 OPS. So a little bit of improvement there, but in 2024, he was called up once again, like I said, in the wake of all those injuries, and he's already posted way more plate appearances than he ever has in MLB with 113 on the year and a 320 batting average. Another impressive stat that Elliot Ramos boasts is he's fourth on the Giants in RBI despite playing in about half the games that the top three hitters have played in. So what makes Elliot Ramos such a special player for the Giants in 2024? Well, simply put, he's got a great combination of contact and power at a very good proportion. He averages a 93 and a half mile an hour exit velocity, and he's not afraid to get the barrel on the ball with a 14.3 barrel percentage, which is nearing elite range. He's also shown his ability to hit well against both lefties and righties, posting a 381 average against left-handed pitchers and a 303 average against righties with two homers against righties and four against lefties so in all he's really shown his ability to hit well against different pitchers in different situations but the thing that really makes ramos special is he hits best when there's men in scoring position posting a 379 batting average with runners in scoring position as opposed to just a 333 average with bases empty and 306 average when men are on base not a huge difference obviously but the fact that he's hitting his best when guys are in scoring position really just speaks to his ability to shine when he's needed most. Now, I'm never a fan of giving a player too much hype or credit with such a small sample size. Like we saw what happened with Luis Matos, obviously still tons of potential for him. He had a great little stretch with the Giants, but then regressed immediately, which got him sent down to AAA. But I think with Ramos, given his experience, given the fact that he's had now seven years in the Giants organization, He's really looking to finally break out and finally cement himself in a lineup that needs bats, that needs power, especially with, like I said, the injuries, the turmoil, the inconsistency, and the Giants have been playing better baseball lately. Of course, they did suffer a losing streak following their very good stretch. They're now back on a three-game winning streak, and Ramos has been the biggest reason for that success. Obviously, the pitching has also suffered injuries to most recently Keaton Wynn and Blake Snell, but for Ramos, he's putting the team on his back and along with Wilmer Flores, really providing that power recently in the Giants lineup that has been needing it desperately. Ramos has also shown stark improvement when facing the fastball as in 2023, he had a run value of negative four when facing the four seam, but this year in 2024, his run value has shot up to four and has really just shown his ability to adapt to the heater as opposed to last year when he struggled. He's also increased his hard hit percentage by over 15% from 2023 to 2024. Now I can list tons of stats about Elliot Ramos, but watching him play just a game 
should really convince one about his potential. He's really just been a consistent player since being called up, tallying hits just consistently throughout his tenure now in the 2024 MLB season. But if one thing's for sure, the Giants are a team that are really kind of all or nothing. They signed a lot of these big contracts over the offseason and have been very unlucky with how they've panned out. Obviously, Snell has been disappointing and injured. Jung Hoo Lee is out for the season. Matt Chapman has been very good, although starting very slow. And Jorge Soler has been disappointing. So to see a guy which one probably would consider him a newcomer in Elliot Ramos, just considering his limited playing time at the major league level in 2022 and 2023, it's really a breath of fresh air. Now the Giants are in a wild card spot at the time of recording this, but they're tied with a couple other teams and the division race is getting very difficult with the Dodgers playing great baseball as expected. So with the Giants right now, with all the injuries in the lineup, whether it be contact guys like Lamont Wade or more power guys like we saw Michael Conforto be injured for a while and recently just come back, a guy like Elliot Ramos and younger guys like Luis Matos if he gets called up again, or Marco Luciano, depending on his status, if younger guys like that can step up, give the Giants a little bit of youthful energy in the lineup, that's the team that's going to get this you know, squad to the playoffs. The Giants have a very solid mix of veterans and young guys, and if they want to capitalize on the pretty decent roster they have, they're going to want to rely on that energy from the younger players like Elliot Ramos to provide a spark in the lineup. Now, for the Giants right now, they're, like I said, on a three-game winning streak. They're playing decent baseball right now as opposed to how they played a few days ago against in that Yankee series. But look, for the Giants, they are going to have to get hot at some point and snap out of this inconsistent play where they get a lot of wins and then lose games but for Bob Melvin having a guy like Elliot Ramos who you can really kind of put at any spot in the order he's played at the leadoff position he's also moved around in other spots I personally like him in middle of the order like fifth or sixth I think he's a guy that you want to have base runners on when he comes up to the plate and I also think that given the fact that he has that power just you know he's really an RBI machine and I and I think that for the Giants, if they can figure out who their their top three really are, guys at the top of the lineup that can really get set the tone, score in the early innings, and not have to rely on great pitching performances every single night just for the Giants to win by one or two runs, I think that's what's really going to take this team to the next level, figuring out who the true leadoff man is, as of course it started out the year with Jung Hoo Lee, but has since moved around. Now, to close out this video, I just want to ask, of course, Elliot Ramos, we haven't even seen him play this year in 30 games yet. I want to ask you guys what you think Elliot Ramos will finish the year with, how many home runs, what his batting average will be, what his OPS will be. I mean, at this rate, it's looking pretty good for the young player, but of course, there's plenty of season left. The Giants are still going to make a playoff push in a pretty tight NL West that's led by the Dodgers, and of course, the Giants and Padres are neck and neck. But I wonder what Elliot Ramos will do the rest of this year. I can predict a pretty good finish for him, just given his consistency thus far. But we shall see. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on Elliot Ramos thus far and what you think he'll finish with. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Just a reminder that you're watching the number one source for Bay Area sports.